I want to win all of them. Let's be very clear about that. It only took 12 years for John Legend to earn the EGOT. That's the Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony. Well, winning the EGOT would mean a lot. Here's how the best-selling artist worked his way into this exclusive winner's circle. We will make room. We have uh, plenty of room at the house. We'll make room for all the trophies. We're just ordinary people. In 2005, John Legend's debut studio album, Get Lifted, was a smash success. The album earned him eight Grammy nominations, and the following year, Legend's EGOT journey began when he took home three awards, including Best New Artist. Well, uh, nobody's a newcomer. Anybody who wins Best New Artist is only new to the general public. They always work, you know, a lot beforehand to get to to get a record deal, to get the album out. That's a, a long struggle. People sometimes criticize people that come off as cocky or whatever, but every artist that, that makes it this far has to be very confident because you have to believe that you have something special to offer the world, and I believe that. It took a minute for the rest of John's EGOT journey to get going, though, nine years exactly. In 2015, things got put on the fast track. It's been an incredible year. Ever since I got married, things have just gotten better in my life, so. Uh... Wow. She makes things happen. <laughs> she was an upgrade. We're gonna change the whole prenup now. <laughs> Doc, this is it. Sam was the place. Common was already working on the historical drama Selma when he reached out to one of his oldest friends and collaborators. Together, they wrote and performed the film's title song, Glory. 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 In 2015, they won the Academy Award for Best Original Song. He described what they were looking for, and uh, he gave me some ideas for the title for the song. And one of the ideas he gave me was Glory. And uh, that word really inspired me. One day when the glory comes, it will be ours. My thoughts were that the song should sound triumphant, but also realize that there's more work to do. So when I said one day when the glory comes, that means we still have more work to do. With half of his EGOT complete, John Legend headed to the Great White Way. Well, we're proud of the play. Uh, we were able to produce uh, August Wilson's Jitney for Broadway, and it was the last August Wilson play that uh, had yet to be um, shown on Broadway. And uh, for it to get recognized with six nominations is really amazing. And uh, we're hoping it does well at the Tonys. Not too shabby for his first invitation. In 2017, Legend won a Tony Award for Best Revival of a Play. No miracles needed here because just one year later, Legend's EGOT was complete. In 2018, he won an Emmy Award for producing Jesus Christ Superstar live in concert. And Legend also played the titular role for the NBC production of the beloved musical. You don't know why I do it. I don't care why you do it. It's kind of surreal. It's something I never even thought about, like, you know, when I started my career. I probably wanted to win some Grammys and sell a lot of records and uh, all that started happening pretty quickly, but I never dreamed that I would be here winning an Emmy and being in that rare group of people that have won all four of these major Academy Awards. Uh, it's such a huge honor and I'm just happy I was part of such a great show. And later that night, John Legend's wife Chrissy Teigen showed everyone where he's going to keep all those EGOT trophies. Perfect. It was an extraordinary achievement for one of the greatest artists working today. But when E.T. caught up with Legend soon after, he opened up about the things that are truly important to him. I love being a father, I love being a husband, I love being a musician and getting to do what I love to do every day, which is write and perform songs and, and, uh, and hopefully make people's lives a little better by the music and the art that we create.